we'll be here. You can you can listen to the my my dulcet tones, the the soft sounds of our voice to lull you to sleep. Just don't like, you know, fall asleep at your desk again. <laughs> Frozen. We're frozen? Just on here it was, but seems like I fixed it. We're, uh, yeah, it's behind a little bit, but I think we're good. I just I looked over and I realized that like you weren't moving, I wasn't moving, the screen wasn't moving. Yeah, that sounds pretty frozen. But it didn't say you had gone offline, which is weird. That's the weird part. <laughs> so basically, what I'm doing is I'm working my way from the top down. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it very well. But I'm working my way from the top down and I just have to base coat this entire dude in black paint. Because all these guys wear black armor except for their left arms and the right shoulder pad. So it's, you know, it's easy to kind of do the whole thing in like one giant sort of sub-assembly piece rather than like paint all the pieces individually, which is how I used to do it until I realized I was an idiot. We all make mistakes. Well, it's just, I was like, oh, man, you know. It's time consuming to do it this way. You know what else is time consuming? Um forgetting bombs. Oh, I was gonna say Vorlax the temporal hunger, but Vorlax the temporal hunger. Please be his name. He's time consuming. Did you just come up with that on the spot? Yes. Nice. I'll give you props for that one. <laughs> Improv. Okay, let's see. Ben says, I need to go back and find the streams Aquapimp did when he was painting 40k. Yeah, I mean, if you if you can find those, like, link them to us in the Discord, because I'd be interested in watching that. Um, then he says, the Langoliers? Question mark? And I, I assume that's a, a reference to the time-consuming thing? I don't know what that, I don't know what a Langolier is, I don't know what that means. So, uh, you lost me on that one, Tammy. You might have to explain that. I feel like I'm supposed to know what that means, and I just don't right now, because yeah. I haven't slept much. Yeah, you didn't sleep much, Panda. Am uh, Amlido didn't sleep a whole lot, either. Uh, except for that except for that one time while we were out today. That doesn't count as sleeping! You, you slept a little bit. It doesn't count as sleeping, though. Oh, uh, you haven't told Panda about that yet. No, I haven't told Panda so, about that. So, Amber has a funny story for you, Panda. Oh, it's, yeah, real funny. In hindsight. Granted, you know, when it was happening, it was a little scary. You said I scared the hell out of you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. They're time-consuming fourth-dimensional creatures from a Stephen King story. Oh! 
That's why I should know them, because I probably read that book. You probably read it. Um, so, Panda. <laughs> guess who has two thumbs and passed out in the subway today? This chick. And by subway, we mean a restaurant, not... Like, yeah, we don't have any, like, subway like a, trains around yeah. here. I passed out eating a sub sandwich. So that was fun. So that was fun. <laughs> and embarrassing. I am horribly embarrassed. You're fine. You know what? What are the odds you're ever going to see any of those people again in your life? I don't know. I could never go to that subway again. <laughs> hey, aren't you that person that passed out that one day? We have we have your picture on our wall. Wow. All right. So I feel like the need to apologize for our neighbors. Yeah. They they just got home and apparently when you just get home, you first must thing be you loud. Do, first thing you do is you turn your music on as loud as it'll go and you stomp around. You know she tells us that like. She can hear, like, everything we say. I hope she can hear us shit-talking her. Yeah. Maybe we'll teach her to turn that shit down. <laughs> he goes, he goes sup's so good, they'll knock a motherfucker out. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I fucking fainted. I, I still think it might have something to do with your blood pressure. Because the thing is, like, before... Like, the reason we went to this subway is because Amado was getting to the point where she was getting like she was getting nauseous and she thought it was like you know hey i haven't eaten all day i'm you know you ever get to that point where you're so hungry that you're feeling gross you're like you're feeling nauseous we thought maybe that was it so we're like all right we're not gonna go the whole 45 minute trek back home which is good because we hit traffic on the way home oh, too. Yeah. oh god that would have been a long time so we're like, okay, let's just grab a bite to eat here real quick, and then we'll go home. Well, we, we got food, we sat down and we ate, and it was fine. Everything went smoothly. And then we were like, or, you know, towards the end of it, Amlito was like not feeling great. It was like, let's just get home. And like... Then my hearing started to go out. Yeah. So I was like, all right, we need to get home. So, uh... We, uh, you know, started getting up and everything, and then, like, her legs just kind of started, like, going out. She started doubling over, and I was like, shit. So, you know, I grabbed hold of her and, like, eased her back down into, like, a seat and was trying to, like, get her to sit up and, and stay conscious, and she was just kind of, like, keeled over. And a couple people walked by and are like, you know, geez, is she okay? And I'm like, I have no idea. And they're like, everybody's like, call 911, call 911. And, like, she kind of snapped out of it and came around and was like, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. So, you know, that was, that was interesting. Yeah. Panda Smasher says, also, I'm like 80% sure that you live in the same town as Crendor. I don't know who Crendor is. Is that somebody you know? I don't think so. Is that like a, a another streamer? Like, I'll be honest, there's really like there's a handful of streamers that I am aware of and pay attention to. Half of them are TFS, and then basically you, Panda. Uh, so, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, okay, so he's a YouTuber slash streamer that I like. We might have to, uh, we might have to check him out then and see if we can uh, deduce that for ourselves. There's, there's definitely some clues, some giveaways, I would think, to, like, you know, oh, if you're 
if you're from here, you'll you'll recognize you know this name or whatever. That and of course, if we you know, if he is from here, and we meet him, that's an awfully small world. And we and we use our feminine wiles to like charm him and make him our friend. Then you know, our it, feminine wiles. Our feminine wiles, damn it! I can have them too. Then you know, there's a chance that like you might get to see a couple of your favorite streamers together on stream how cool would that be uh, da, 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 da. apologies too by the way if the music is a tad loud but we are trying to drown out the neighbors yeah <laughs> and it says he's a human sloth I mean that means very different things for me than it does for like most other people, but I think I know where you're where you're what you're getting at. So many wiggles. God damn, they're so fucking loud. Yeah, they're very disrespectful. That's all right. That just means we don't have to be quiet uh, when we get people over tomorrow. Because if they bitch, we'll be like, hey, we didn't say shit when you were disrupting our stream earlier. So, suck on my eggs. Do, do, do. More painting. More painting. I don't know. I know I don't have like the best lighting, but I hope that you're able to kind of see what I what I show when I when I show it when I hold it up to the camera. Just trying to get a nice even layer. Yes, the rabbit gave me its foot. Jesus Christ. Okay. So wait, is that the last thing you need? Or no, you're still you're still growing an ancient fruit, aren't you? I still need an ancient fruit and a truffle and truffle oil. Okay, but still, that's hey, it's been a while since we've knocked something off the list. Good job, Nongus. Just for that, we won't cook you and eat you. We have the other rabbit for that. The baby rabbit. The baby rabbit. Supposed to be more tender. Wait, am, am I invited to the party? Yeah, Panda. Oh, I mean, oh, you mean tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, if you can, like, manage to grab a plane ticket, you can hang out tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll probably be streaming. Uh, and, you know, you're more than welcome to show up and hang out in the stream tell me about the rabbit story i you know am i is, am i weird that i actually really liked that book maybe but i won't judge like i don't know i i thought it was good because it was like you know yeah he murdered him but like it was for his own good you know, it was really, like, out of compassion more than anything else. Am I not merciful? See, he says no, because it's a pretty good book, actually. Yeah, I, you know, I agree. Like, he didn't, uh, you know, Lenny didn't know that, like, what he was doing, you know, was wrong. He was scared. You know, and... Those people would have tortured him. Like, it sucks that it had to end that way, but honestly, that's probably the best way 
that it could have ended for Lenny. I swear I'm paying attention. But oh. I've forgotten what chest everything goes in. Yeah, you're also, you know, trying to play the game too, so. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, to my own, like, floor plan here. Oh. Uh -oh. Those legs nice and evenly painted. What? They just don't know how to walk anywhere quietly. No, they don't. I mean, I think part of that might just be the, the floorboards or whatever, but... Oh, and the lady he killed kind of deserved it. Yeah. I mean... She was kind of a bitch, but... Oh, sorry, sorry about, about the, train. the train. Jesus. Fuck, that's like a lot of... Right? Um... Yeah, I mean, she was kind of shitty. It says, also, ranch plus honey barbecue sauce plus Louisiana hot sauce... Equals a damn good wing sauce. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. That sounds real good. I uh, I like that idea. Yeah, no, that sounds really nice. I haven't like homemade wings in a long time, but next time I do, I might have to try that. Normally, if I'm getting wings, I'm going to B Dubs, honestly, because. I know they're expensive and not great, gimmicky and all that, but man, I I fucking love them. I think they're delicious. Maybe I just have poor taste. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I just no offense or anything, but for me, B Dubs is just not great. Like their burgers are fucking better than their wings. There you go. But, you know, Buffalo Burger Wings doesn't, like, or Buffalo Wild Burgers doesn't have the same ring to it. Oh, Jesus. How the hell did you manage that, Panda? Says, I made some today because I got four pounds of drums for five dollars. That's not hard to do. That's a damn good deal, though. Four pounds of drumsticks for five bucks? Yeah, that's not hard to do. Fuck. I think I've done that before. Have you? Yeah. Not when I was around. Yeah. When? Burkats. The meat sale? Meat sale. Mm. What the hell is that sound? Dishes. We did not pick a great time to stream. No. But But I mean we couldn't have known. That was like that's not our fault. I absolve us of any wrongdoing. We're not the problem. It's obviously the other people. I'm 99% of the problem. You are. Why are you 99% of the problem? Because. Just because? Because you want to be? Being problematic is cool, don't you know? You're the problem because you want to be. <laughs> Fuck off, Dr. Phil. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression, though. I mean, from what I remember, yeah. Let's see. Um, well, 
uh, I don't know if you can see, but the torso is done. I hope that's good. A good view. Yeah, it's the torso and the legs, just a, an even coat of black. So then I gotta work on this uh, right arm, the head, and the, the backpack. Both need. Oh, okay, I kinda got it in there. Sorta got it in the shot. But, uh, yeah, those. The right arm, the head, and the backpack all need uh, black paint as well. So, move on to the next biggest thing, which is the arm. Because I, I tend not to do the backpack until the arms are done and like, ready to Is that to your be. phone going off? Yeah. <clears throat> I was trying to ignore it. Talking about how the objective markers that he bought, like he's asking if we have uh, rules for them because he says, because I know they give benefits. I'm like, I'm not sure. Chapter approved has stuff like that in there. I'll have to, I'll have to dig them up then because. Finally! Ooh! Got two rubies out of that fish chest. Really? Yeah. I don't know what a fish needs with two rubies, but... He stole them out of somebody's eye sockets. Like, there's probably a skull down there now, missing its eyes. Why aren't you going for that splashy spot over there? Because I'm not at an angle to reach it. You can't reach it even if you go to the other side of the dock? Mm -mm. What if you go to like the far left side of the... I am here? So, okay, so you could, you just don't feel like it. This is my hill! I see. nuts what kind of storms are you getting just like rain and all that because they've been talking about up here by us we've possibly, got snow coming yeah possibly getting snow um which you know for middle of april that's kind of nuts 
It's all that. It's all that El Nino and global warming and shit. Rain, hail, and thunder. Ooh, boy. Sounds like a fun time. Right? I like hail. It's, I think, part of the reason I like it so much is because it's so, like, rare. Like, the novelty of it hasn't ever, like, worn away, like, worn off. It wears off after a while. What are you talking about? Like, it... It happens so infrequently. How can the like how can the novelty wear off? Maybe not for you, but for me it has. You say so. I, I don't know. I like that shit. I like them shits. And that was a cat knocking something over in the bedroom. It's their job, don't you know? Yeah, probably. Oh, jeez. I apologize for our fucking. Stomping ass neighbors. Uh, their loud ass fucking music. Mm. Stomping ass fucking creaky floorboards. Like, and we're not trying to be shitty neighbors here. Like, we're not those, like, old people that sit down there and like wait for their upstairs neighbors to make any hint of noise and they'll start banging on the ceiling with a fucking broom you know like that's not that's not us but like come on when we can hear you and like make out the lyrics to the song you're playing like over everything else like through the floor it's a little excessive for, you know, what the landlord claims is supposed to be a quiet living environment. Oh, thank fucking God. I think they stopped. says if it helps I can't hear it that does help actually um because you know there's really nothing we can do about it otherwise so it's kind of embarrassing um wait what was a friend's reference what you said or did like one of us inadvertently make a friend's reference because like I haven't seen all that much friends me neither I am freezing. You are. Do you want me to get the heat? Would you please? Sure, darling. Darling? I don't know. First thing that came to my head. Oh boy. Be prepared to have to get it again, because I'm sure it's going to be way too warm in here. Shortly. Yeah. Alright, we're back. And by we, I mean me. I'm back. Waving. Why are you waving? I don't know, because you said we're back. So I waved. Oh, okay. There's a character in Friends who waits for them to make any noise, and then hits his roof with his broom. To yell at them. I I just thought that was like a trope. Yeah. Just like a like a stereotype of like old people. We had to beat on the ceiling a few times. There were a couple times, not with these guys, but No. There were yeah, there were a few times. Previous neighbors would be getting into arguments. At, you know, weird, crazy hours of the night, and, uh, 
we didn't want to get involved with it, so we told him to shut the fuck up. I believe those words exactly. Yeah, that one time. Because we pounded on the ceiling and he's like, you know, he's like, piss off. And I was like, shut the fuck up. And, and he did. After she apologized through the floor. <laughs> But, you know, that's just, that's one of those things, like, about living in an apartment is, like, you have to be mindful that, like, you know, you're sharing this space with, you know, three other, like, you know, three other apartments, three other tenants at, at a minimum. You know, and, and people a lot of times, like, forget that. Part of the reason. Ooh, Omni Geodes. Hey, nice, two of them. But that's part of the reason that, you know, Amlado and I have been. I, I say trying, but we really haven't put any effort into it, have we? No, we haven't. Trying to, you Complaining know. Complaining about. Find uh, a place of our own. You know, and eh, maybe it'll happen eventually. We try. Right now, it's just sort of the, like, wishful thinking stage. But, we'll see. Now, I guess, what did we name the other one? Lenny. Hey, because of the... Yeah. Because, ah, uh, see? We were ahead of you on that one, Panda. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sebastian, you're a great husband, but you gotta stop getting in my way. Hey man, marriage is all about that give and take. Sometimes he's in the way, and sometimes you don't know what you do without him. paint on. Models always fall painted side down. Apparently. They do in this case, anyway. Man, you ain't got no coat. Lady Jesus. Apologies for having to look at my bosoms real quick. I gotta reach. Where is it? What are you looking for? The Cantor Blue. Cantor Blue. Apologies for that. Oh, God. Got right up in there, folks. I'm sorry. You just got, you just got a good look at all of that. It is a good thing that I was wearing a shirt. Yeah, that's the pity of having a webcam is uh, you gotta remember to stream with a shirt on. Well now, 
here's my question. I, like, I know you have to follow certain guidelines when it comes to, uh, like, Twitch streaming, right? Is male toplessness acceptable? Well, is male toplessness acceptable? And the, the follow-up question is, like, how much nudity can you get away with? I don't think you can. Well but, well, but here's my question, though. Like, can you wear a bikini on stream? Because you can wear a bikini in public. You know? So, like, is that acceptable for streaming? And, and if it is, how little of a bikini can you get away with? Because I figure the idea is, as long as it is, like, covering, like, your, your nipples and bits, that's the... You couldn't get away with that in society, though. Could you? Th I mean, you could, though. People wear that to, like, beaches and stuff all the time. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Wear, like, thong bikinis with, like, little teeny tiny tops and stuff? Yeah, they do. Maybe in porn. No. In, like, on, like, actual beaches. I've seen it. Where? On actual beaches. What actual beach have you been to? I've been to plenty of actual beaches. The, like, one that's coming to mind right now is the one up by, uh, Lake Michigan. I suppose that counts. Yeah, I suppose it does. <laughs> Fanta says, I wear a bikini on the stream all the time. I mean, what? And he says, uh, it happens in Texas in Galveston. Oh shit, I forgot to go see Clint. Uh oh. I got time. Yeah, you got time. Um, yeah, like, basically, as long as your nipples and bits are covered. But, like you're you're considered acceptable for like public. That just seems <sighs> baffling to me. It I mean, it does seem a little weird because like you can't show like an uncensored butt cheek or like an uncensored butt crack on like television. But you can you can walk outside and see somebody with like butt floss. Butt floss. But I guess because there's technically fabric touching it, it's it's considered to be covered. I don't know. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it just it makes me curious to know like what the hell is that? I don't know. Oh, Jasper! I'm like you just got a lump of shit out of there, Nick White. Neither of them knew. Huh. But, um... Yeah, like, I mean, could you technically then get away with, like, streaming in, like, a skimpy micro-bikini? As long as it fit those guidelines of, like, you know, everything everything's covered. You don't have, like, a wardrobe malfunction on stream. You, know, you 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 sit very still and you breathe slowly, so that you don't have like anime jiggle physics. At a certain point, it has to be considered an obscenity. Right, as soon as like nipples start showing. Oh, okay. The things wait. The things I say make Panda want to say very dark jokes. What? I don't know what I said, so I could I couldn't tell you. I can't help you there, man. So he also says, uh, I think the guidelines say you have to uh, dress in a semi-professional manner. Really? Because I, I stream mean, in my jammies. Yeah, I've seen people stream in pajamas. I've seen people stream. In, I mean, I'm we're literally in a t-shirt and shorts right now. Like, I, I mean. Yeah, semi-professional. 
I don't know what that means exactly, but I, I get where you're coming from. You may not be able to get away with a micro bikini. Or even being shirtless. It's true. Yeah, you might not be able to get away with shirtlessness. Huh. Well, that cancels my plans for... Summer block party stream? Summer, summer block party stream. You, you have to you have to post a picture of yourself in a bikini or you know a swimsuit of some sort on the discord in order to be let in to the chat like a like a bouncer post your bikini body to get in So it's more of like, don't be streaming in like just gym shorts or stuff. It's wonky. So also, have you have y'all heard about what Lanny started doing? I like the motivational videos and stuff. Is that what he's doing? I haven't heard anything about it. Lanny's doing motivational videos. Like motivational speaking and like changing your life and life advice. <laughs> Change your life. <laughs> Which, if you uh, if you don't get that, you really gotta go and watch Taka and Zito play uh, Pubga. Pubga. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen that already, go watch it anyway. It's fucking hilarious. The the two of them being like giant meme lords that they are, playing the like the beta of uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is. Pretty fantastic. Meme boy daddy and Cuckster Sichuan. As they as they call themselves. The the moist frogs. Moist frogs. It was oh dude, it's so good. Oh no. He's doing the One Punch Man one hundred day challenge. He's doing Saitama's um, workout routine. Oh, wow. For, for 100 days, apparently. I like that idea. I mean, Saitama had to do it for like, was it three or five years? I don't remember. But, you know, he had to do it for a while. Like, a lot more than 100 days. But... It'll be interesting to see Lanny, like, start, you know, to get more in shape over over time. <laughs> he says we tried to warn him of potential baldness. <laughs> I like that. I trained so much that my hair fell out. And he's got good hair, though. Like he does. He's got a nice, full, like, thick head of hair. If I was worried, I think about anybody's hair falling out, it would be Ben's or Kieran's. Nah, Kieran's got luxurious hair, and he takes good care he has, of it. He has long hair, but it's not—it's not very like full, right? Eh, it's pretty full. I mean, it's fuller than mine, so I can't complain. Maybe it's just because he, he wears it flat all the time that it, it doesn't seem like it has a lot of volume. Well, yeah, that'll do it. And he's not like me or my mom, dying it all the time. True. But yeah, like, Grant seems like he's got an okay head of hair. Kaiser's hair is has always been too short for me to really like pay a lot of attention to. Zito's hair is always under a uh, hat. Taka's got good hair. Does he? I don't think I've ever paid attention to Taka's hair. It's long like Kieran's. 
which I think is why people used to confuse the two of them so much. Oh, yeah, that would do it. Gaijin Goomba wears a hat all the time, so I don't ever get to see his hair. Oh, okay. Panda says, I looked it up and Saikuma did it for a year and a half. I was going to say, it only, it? it only seemed like it was two years or something, so. I could have sworn it was like three years at a minimum. Huh. I mean, hey, I mean, you looked it up, so I'll, I'll trust you on it. He also says, Taka's Canadian, so he's got that free hair health care. Yeah. Lucky bastard. I don't know about you, but I could use some of that free healthcare right about now. I get free healthcare. Well, yeah, but, you know. That's for an entirely different reason. Yeah, I kind of have to suffer for it. <laughs> suffer for your health. America. America. Is it wrong that that's part of one of the reasons that I'm, like, really relieved that, like, you didn't end up, like, in a lot of trouble, uh, like, when you passed out? Oh, dude, I don't know how I would have paid for the ambulance ride. We, we would have just had them bill it to us when we, like, got to the hospital. Like, we'd have to deal with it, you know, one way or the other, but, like, you know, and we would have if it had come to that. You know, you would have been in the ambulance, and I would have ridden with you all the way to the hospital, had it come to that. But like, in in hindsight, I'm real glad it didn't come to that. Like, I love you, and I will do what I have to take care of you. But uh, them bills, them bills would be outrageous. An ambulance ride is like three thousand dollars. Yeah. And if they were just get there and be like, oh, well, no, she's just dehydrated. She just needs some fluids. They'd put you in a fucking room, put an IV in you, give you some water and, like, a, a saline drip. You'd be in and out in a fucking hour, and we'd have to sell the car to fucking to pay the hospital bills. Oh, jeez, okay. And it says, my friend moved to Canada to live with his girlfriend. Unfortunately, it's the racist part of Canada, and now he's moving back because he hates it there. I don't blame him. I didn't realize there was a racist part of Canada. Like, I, I know that Canada has a problem with racism just the same as America has a problem with racism. I just thought that, like, just like America, it's, it's more or less sort of spread out you know like definitely you're gonna find pockets of it where it's a little more concentrated uh, than others but like you know Jesus Panda says I was I was charged 5k for blood tests and three bags of saline and then was told everything was okay fucking ridiculous yeah I get my health coverage through the state because I can't work I've been to the emergency room several times on it and I haven't paid anything thank god for that right Panda also says French Canada is super fucking racist like if you don't speak French they won't even talk to you and they will screw you over just for fun Huh. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I wouldn't be moving to, like, Quebec. Like, I know a little bit of French. A little bit. Not enough to get by, I don't think. And, and I think that would be where my problem would, would lie. That I wouldn't be able to fake it well enough. 
<laughs> nice. Good job, Panda. What? He says, I uh, I never paid that bill, and I told him they could shove it. I don't blame you, man. Stick it, stick it to the man. I don't know how you didn't get, like, debt collectors knocking on your door, but, you know, good on you. Rebellion! Right? Are you warm enough by now, by yes. the way, that you can accept the heat being off? Yes. Alright. Give me a moment. Oops. Oh well. And I will accommodate that on your behalf. And your own. Yeah, I suppose my own too. says, I went to the hospital because I had a six hour nosebleed and then after all that they just said uh, that I was fine I told them what happened and that I wouldn't touch it yeah, no fair that's... enough I mean, you know I, I'd fight it too be like, but you know, you told me everything was fine you gave me fucking water like, you're not fucking paying $5,000 for three bags of water. I don't, I don't blame you, man. I mean, it's more like Gatorade. Isn't saline salt, like salt water? Which is basically Gatorade. Gatorade's not salt water. Yes, it is! It's got flavor and electrolytes and all that other stuff in it. Salt is electrolytes. Oh, is it? That's why Gatorade's so high in sodium. Oh, I didn't know that. Fuck. Um, no, no, no. Yeah. I mean, you got your your balls are brassier than mine, dude. Because, like, I know how how you know big companies like that can be about their money, and I would not want people, you know, breaking my knees. He would have had me fight it for him. Well, that sounds terrible. But it's true, though. You I mean, you have me do, like, your appointments and everything. That's a little different. I'm like Mom 2.0. You are not. I don't do nearly the dirty things with my mom that I do with you. I think the dirtiest thing we've ever done with your mom was play Cards Against Humanity. That was up there, yeah. <laughs> some of the some of the stuff that was talked about in that conversation, we were kind of like, "Damn." But you gotta you gotta remember, like you know, just like just like we are, you know, horny youngsters. Our parents, at one point, were horny youngsters. Yeah, I don't tend to like thinking about that. How do you think you got here? Buddy, I know how I got here. Right, but like... But I don't have to think about it. But when you dumb it down, or, you know, when you, when you boil it down, you know... That's uh, that's how we all happened. Like, unless you were a test tube baby. You have to be wanted to be a test tube baby. And it says, my dad was older than I am right now when he had me. Yeah, I mean, but you're, you know, you're still considered a youngster. 
Even if you're not, there's plenty of like horny oldsters. I am. Um... You, you dig around enough on the internet, you're guaranteed to find them. You don't even have to dig. I was, I was really just making a joke. You work in the right industry and they'll bring you their computer to fix and you, you'll you find out. Oh, yeah, that story. Have we ever told you that story, Panda, about when Amado used to work at the Radio Shack? She had to fix the old pervert's computer. When does it start becoming horny geriatrics? Um, I think when you become a, ger a geriatric, basically. Like if you're if you're still horny at that age, then you're a horny geriatric. Go for it, man. You do you. He says I don't believe so. Okay, so this is a fun story. Huh. This was five or six years ago. 2014, I want to say. Oh, God. My timing's way off, so... No, that was about, about five. about a five. You did good. Yeah, for once. Don't say it like that. I'm not bad with time, anyway. Uh... No, I'm not good with time, rather. Anyway. So, I'm working at Radio Shack. I am the lone person qualified to repair computers. The which, only one. Mm -hmm. Which meant that you got the special privilege of occasionally taking a customer's computer home to work on it from home. Yes. This was one such case. This was one such case. I'm going to gloss over some details. Uh, I'm not. Well, no, because I can get in trouble for revealing a customer's private information. You don't even know who that customer is. I can get in trouble for revealing the stuff that I saw. Oh, really? So I'm going to have you tell it. Okay. That's my loophole. Uh, basically, yeah. She she was digging around through the customer's files. Um, I was not digging through the files. You had to because you had to basically restart the OS. I stripped the computer and put the new OS on there. Yeah, like you, you had to dig through his files to, to do that. Otherwise, like... That's otherwise we never would have found this shit. But, oh, this was just in his internet history. No, so, but basically, yeah, it was a bunch of like, like incestuous fantasy uh, porn, like a lot of like older stepmom, old like just old like older step parents. It was it was all very like incesty. Ugh, it was bad. Yeah. And there was a lot of it. Like, I'm willing to accept a lot of kinks. Uh-uh. And I mean, look, if, you know, if, if that's what gets your, your motor running, like, good on you. You know, you do you. You know, I'm, I'm not exactly vanilla myself, so, you know, I really don't have any room to judge. But, like, maybe clear your internet history and clear your cookies once in a while. Or, you know, maybe tip your uh, Radio Shack computer salesperson so that, you know, they and their fiancé aren't, like, talking shit about your dirty porn habits on the internet five years later. No, it's, f like... It's nasty. It was scarring. But it was you know what? Scarring. It, it kind of was cuz you don't expect to see that when you bring up somebody's web browser. Oh, I absolutely did. You brought somebody you brought home somebody's computer and I was like, "Let's see what kind of dirty shit they've been looking at." Cuz you hear stories like that all the time. Whoa, I'm having network quality issues. So, like at that point, I kind of just sort of was expecting it. Maybe I'm naive. Probably. But when I wasn't. When it comes wasn't. to stuff like that. 
when it comes to stuff like that, yeah, you're you're naive. I have a surprisingly innocent mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Panda says, I remember reading a story online about someone who did that and, like, the person ended up having a lot of CP on their PC. CP on the PC. And, uh, that's when you call the cops, folks. I don't care if I get fired. I'm calling the oh, cops. Oh, no. It, you, I think you're legally required to call the police. It's like if, like, a, a child or whatever, like, goes to the doctor and... Like the doctor notices like signs of abuse, mm. like it's it's not a breach of doctor patient confidentiality if you're doing it to like you know save somebody's life potentially. Like if you're if you're reporting a crime to the authorities, it you know that gives you a lot of leeway. Thankfully, there was nothing like that. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad, or <clears throat> we definitely would have been calling the cops. Um, but you know, it it was a little creepy because then once the computer was fixed, Amleto had to go back and look at the old man with a straight face and try to tell him that his you know incestuous porn habits were not the thing that crashed his computer. And I didn't... How did I phrase it? Oh! I told him, you need to watch what links you click on in your emails because some of them lead to things called porn bombs. Yeah. That's what I told him. Porn bombs. My favorite breakfast time cereal. With 150 percent of your daily value of porn. So did y'all know that Ashton Kutcher runs the number one agency in the world to fight child trafficking? Yes, I, I did. I was going to say, I feel like I heard that at one point, and good for him, honestly. Like, that's fantastic, and we need more people to, like, give a shit about that. You know, the fact that he's able to use his income and his celebrity status to save people's lives is, you know, is commendable. And really, it's what they all should be doing. Yeah, it says those children have dead, soulless eyes and it worries me. I mean... If you think just about some of the things that they had to go through. I think he means my children. Oh. <laughs> well, we were just, we were on the child trafficking. I'm like, I didn't know if maybe you had, like, seen pictures of, like, rescued victims. I'm like, dude, th like, think about what they've gone through. Of course they do. But no, like, I think he means my in-game yeah, children. Goes, he goes, no, no, I meant in the game. <laughs> yeah. They're creepy. The, and the way they sort of just, like, stand there and stare in unison. Yeah, it's a little creepy. I had creepy uh, kids. God, I really got heavy there for a minute. Yeah, I really, you did. I really thought you meant the, uh, the, the victim kid. Look how peaceful the winter music is. Oh, I know I say that like every time. It's great though. Paint. Well, yeah, obviously. I, I don't, like, I'm not supposed to get this. This is a big spot of. Uh, Silver. So okay, so I've got. I don't know if you can see it very well. I've got this arm, 
painted. I still got there's a hand back there I gotta do. There's the backpack, like the front half of the backpack. This shoulder pad, which is gonna have like the chapter symbol on it, so that's why it's the like deep blue color. I got this arm here painted silver, and then this shoulder pad, which is the left shoulder pad, the the, the Death Watch shoulder pad, that's gonna have to be silver as well. Ooh. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Maki. Oh. But yeah, so I'm gonna end up painting that a nice shiny vibrant silver here in a second. Am I getting any of that? Uh, it's really unfocused at like from from close up, but all right, I'll be right back. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. Do we have like a be right back thing yet? Nope. I mean, I, I know I don't have mine done, but like... I don't have one. Alright. Or I do, but scene swapping is hard. Scene swapping, scene swapping is hard? And it crashes things. Do you need... Are you okay? Can you make it? Barely. Well, I, I don't know what she means about scene swapping being hard, um, or it crashing things. I don't know if that's just because we don't have, like, the RAM that we need. Or like the the whole thing with OBS, um, cause like I've seen I've seen you do it, man, and I've seen plenty of other people do it, and it doesn't seem that hard. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um. Yeah. So it's it's just me for a minute. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a uh, an intermission uh, thing, so it's just my face. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm gonna jump on that spaceship and get out of here. You wanna come? What? <laughs> I was I was talking, and then I realized I was starting to sound like Korg from fucking. Uh, Thor Ragnarok because I was just sort of like mumbling with a very soft voice uh. so I was like I was like yeah me and the other guys are gonna hop on that spaceship and get out of here you want to come what 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 is this <laughs> Who are you breaking stream rules? I'm not breaking stream rules. It's you my know? stream. I do what I want. Whoa! 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 Arrest! Arrest this person for YouTube crimes. For eating beef jerky on stream. For eating anything on stream. I hope you brought enough for the whole class. <laughs> I almost choked on my beef jerky. Yeah. Bet you almost choked on that meat. I hate you. I know you do. I love you too. But I gotta give you shit, cause like... You, like... Panda's missing out, man. He says, what kind of jerky? Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue. Sweet and spicy. We are in no way sponsored by Sweet Baby Ray's, uh, uh, what, Sweet, Sweet Baby, Sweet and Spicy Beef Jerky. <clears throat> um, however, if, uh, Sweet Baby Ray's wants to, Sweet Baby Ray may sponsor us. I will not say sweet baby, sweet baby nay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Now you're good. Is that pun worthy? That was great. I like it.
Yeah, you wanna like you wanna pay us in jerky snacks and you know all that to like endorse your product, Mr. Sweet Baby Ray. Do we call you Sweet or Baby or Ray? Like I don't. But yeah, in any in any case, Mr. Sweet Baby Ray, if you're in chat. We, you know, we will gladly accept your endorsement. Ooh. So we have a spicy teriyaki jerky here that I love. That sounds really good. Mmm, spicy teriyaki. Because uh, I used to get Sweet Baby Ray's nearly every day before work when I was a cart pusher. And I actually used their barbecue sauce in my wing sauce earlier. Oh. I don't know if I've ever had their, uh, their wing sauce, but like... If they use that kind of stuff on their jerky, then it's got to be good, because their jerky's pretty good. Speaking of, do you want some? I, I, I can't even make the joke now, but yeah, I'll, I'll, like if you feel like sharing. I can't even make what joke? The, I was I was gonna say like I I won't say sweet baby nay. I wanted to make that joke because it was so good, but like you just made it, so I can't. Oh, I didn't know they were from Chicago either. Awful good barbecue for Chicago. Right? <laughs> You don't, you don't really think of... I think of Italian beef when I think of Chicago. Yeah. I don't really think of barbecue. It says, you can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat. <laughs> you know what's funny? My mom grew up with that song, right? Like, she was a child of that era. And, you know, was the one who introduced me to Pink Floyd in the first place. And it was not until after she had introduced it to me, like, you know, and at this point I was several years old, so like this was a while that this woman did not realize that it's, if you, uh, you can't have any pudding if you don't eat your meat, the, the, the line from the song. She thought... It was, you can't have any pudding if you don't take your seat. It doesn't sound anything like no, that. No, and I'm like, it, and that's what I told her. I'm like, it doesn't even sound like that. Just listen to it. Like, myself and my father, like, sort of ridiculed her for, like, a good couple of days over that. Because how did you not picked that up for years <clears throat> it could be worse could be can't have any pudding if you don't beat your meat <laughs> I mean generally that's how that works right you, you beat your meat and then there's pudding right <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Besides, you can't get mad at me because I think that's what I think that's the joke Hannah was making in the first place. Maybe it wasn't. That's certainly what it seemed like. think somebody like in town just thinks I'm weird as fuck for riding a horse around when there are vehicles there are vehicles and like almost everybody else in town walks except for George cause he can't yeah I get it but yeah you might just be like eccentric 
Oh. Oh, Panda. Oh, my God. What did he do? Oh, dude. <laughs> he says, he goes, yeah, it certainly brings new meaning to, hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. Oh, man. God damn it. Ugh. Right? Yeah, that's that's about the right reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, what? He says... Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not where you're from. It might not be weird, but like here, it's a it's a little weird. Which is surprising because we live in the middle of like a rural farm town. Wait, what? About like, is it weird that you know you're riding around on a horse when everybody else is like on foot? Like he said, uh, he said, I'm gonna say no because I see people walking around on horses here all the time. Like, yeah, but, like, where you're from, that's a little more normal. But then I was thinking, like, why isn't it normal here? We're in the middle of a, you know, little Midwestern farm town. Like, we know that there are people around here who have horses. We yeah, people... but horses are not street legal. How are they not? Too slow. And the fucking tractors that drive down the street like 10 miles an hour with their fucking nobody's gonna splatter a tractor nobody's gonna splatter a horse either <laughs> yeah it says they only have one horsepower which I think is a bit of a misnomer. I think they can actually put out several, can't they? It's no. Or it's, is that because that's the that's the metric they use to? Yeah, that's literally. Yeah, that makes sense. No. How how is that like determined? Because a horse's like strength has to vary, like from breed to breed and then you have varying like variations in like health and age you know a, a healthy like prime of his life like a thoroughbred Clydesdale stallion is gonna have more you know more pulling power than like a feeble old nag like I think it's based on the standard draft horse what is what is the standard draft horse? Yeah, I see that. He, he <clears throat> says, I'm sure it depends on the horse breed, honestly. But some horses are built for pulling, and some are built for running. And right, Clydesdale is a draft horse. It's built for pulling. But a Clydesdale is bigger than like your standard. Has more muscle. Yeah, that's true. Those are some bara ass ho fucking horses. Have you ever seen like furry porn of the Budweiser Clydesdales? Not them specifically, although now that you mention it, that gives me something to look up later. Because I haven't. I haven't either. I'll let you know if I find some though. Because, like, man, they got, like, they got them, like, Barra Pecs. Like, those are, those are some beefy mofos. I could be, uh, I could be down for some furry, like, Rule 34 of the, uh, Budweiser Dales. Uh, I don't know if that's what they're actually called. I just made that up. Gave it a little... Give it a little southern twang to make it sound legit. You know they're just from Missouri, right? Are they really? 
Budweiser is based out of St. Louis. Oh, that's right, it is. Well, fuck, I don't know. I don't know why I did that then. It sounds like a fool. I'm a fool on the internet. Aren't we all? I mean, not if you're not on the internet. Now I am curious. I'm not going to look it up on stream. Um, certainly not going to show it on stream because we don't want to get banned. <laughs> Panda says I'm too little person fools in a trench coat on the internet. <laughs> That shoulder pad is about done. Your phone's dying. It is already? What the fuck? Gotta be all the texts I got today. Phone blew up. Uh, it kinda did. Oh well, I'll worry about it later. I'm really not supposed to be messing with it right now. Anyway. <clears throat> Now, anyway, I have to do the joints on the armor, not not those kinds of joints. Not the fun joints. Right. It says, I'm stealing your phone's power to fuel my rage. <laughs> well, good luck, because your rage is going to start running out here in about 20 minutes. So that's about all the time I have if I don't touch it once that goes off. Besides, what do you need to be raging for? Panda is just full of rage. He's just full of rage. <laughs> so yeah, I paint the um, the armor joints and stuff with a uh, paint called. Uh, lead belcher which is sort of like a gun metal yeah it's like a gun metal yeah it's like silver but darker and that shows that like yeah they're you know they're armored joints but they're still flexible you know they're not the hard like rigid ceramite of, yeah plates of black ceramite I feel proud of myself for remembering that word. <laughs> oh. oh, poor Panda. Because I usually have to touch mine for it to go off. Hashtag single wife. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that joke. No, don't apologize. That was good. <laughs> Although I would say, yeah, 20 minutes for it to go off. Don't touch it. Like, that's, you know. I don't know if that's impressive or, or not. Like. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not so equipped. I think it's, it's harder for guys to, like, to do that thing where they sort of, like, just mentally get themselves off. You really think so? I think it is. Like, like, you know, I can't speak from like experience. I've never done it like that. You know what I mean? I know that I 
know that there are plenty of women that are able to do that. Which, like, that kind of blows my mind. Uh, Fabio says, also I started watching an anime called Darling in the Franks, and it's just filled with sexual innuendos, and I just had to stop because I kept laughing. Huh. I'll have to maybe see about looking that up. What are you yawning for? Because I'm sleepy. What? You already slept enough today. Did not. Did too. Did not. Slept at the subway and then you sleep when you got home. Slept in the car on the way home. That's three sleeps. <laughs> now you got the hiccup. Isn't that great? Not really. <laughs> Vanna says, I'm not going to say how I know, but I'm just going to say Kegel exercises. I, yeah, like, Kegel exercises, um, I think are, are definitely part of it, but, like, what I'm talking is, like, like, I've seen, like, documentaries of, of women, I think it was, like, on one of those, like, strange, strange sex or something videos that, like, TLC used to do years ago. But, in the before time yeah but basically no it was they these women would just sort of like lay down flat on their backs and they just would not move and then they would like spontaneously orgasm and like and and we're talking like they were hooked up to like uh sensory equipment that were like that was picking it up and basically doctors were like yeah we're detecting you know the the spike in like blood flow and heart rate and you know all this other stuff that like is associated with an orgasm like these women were, were having orgasms without touching themselves at all and it was purely mental <laughs> it's just this that's called ghost sex. They had ghost husbandos. <laughs> looking at, uh... Looking at fucking one movie with, uh... Michael Keaton or whatever it was. Or Richard Gere. What? what the Patrick fuck? Swayze. Patrick Swayze, that's what it was. I don't know. Those guys all look alike. They really don't. I could, I could see your mom being attracted to all of them. To wait, which three did you name? Patrick Swayze, or not? Uh, there was Patrick Swayze, Richard Gere, and um, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. I don't think she's attracted to Michael Keaton, but Richard Gere definitely. There you go. And Patrick Swayze, definitely. Yeah. Ghost husbandos. My favorite husbando is the one that can't touch me. My husbando, porker geist. <laughs> You can make the stand jokes because you haven't seen JoJo's. No, but it's on my watch list, and I feel like that qualifies me. Like I intend to watch it, and that's good enough, damn it. I mean, I haven't seen JoJo's either. There you go. <laughs> Interesting fact: Panda's brother Dalton is named after the Patrick Swayze character from Roadhouse. Okay. Well then. You uh you read into that a little bit. Might uh 
might tell you some things. But, you know. Take from it what you will. <laughs> right. It could just be... It could just be me adding meaning that isn't there. Trathiel does tend to do that. I do, because it's fun that way. It's fun to assume people are just, like, weird. Because, you know, most of the time when you get to know people, you find out it's true. Wait, what? You need to reach level 25 in the... Skull Cavern? That's the desert one, right? Yeah, I gotta bring the Wizard and Rudium Bar, and I haven't done that yet. How many do you have? 26. Oh, Christ. Well, we're off to see the Wizard. It's the wonderful Wizard of the Star Vale. Stardew Valley? Wizard of the Vale? Wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Vale. <laughs> Apparently Panda says that uh oh no, he, he already knew that his mom wanted to bone Swayze. God I rest his soul. I feel like there's a lot of like middle aged mothers that would bone Patrick Swayze in a heartbeat if given the chance. You mean if he was still alive? Well, yeah. I think that, that falls under the if given a chance. Now leave. Damn! How much did he give you? 5,000 gold. I was reading the thing. I didn't, like... Truffle oil. Okay, so yeah. Oh, that's right, because he's fucking Marty. He needs the oil for lube. You know that means they're not using condoms, right? Because I'm pretty sure truffle oil degrades, like, latex. Uh, it might, but I think she's menopausal anyway, <clears> right? <throat> Fuck, I don't know. How old is Marnie? I don't know. Like, I know a lot about Stardew Valley. I do not know that. You don't know how old Marty is. Hmm. Oh, are you looking it up now? I like it. I like when we dig for interesting tidbits. And now, and keep in mind, though, we're even going if she's... on a quest. Oh, I just fucking got paint on me. Lovely. I forgot that this fucking pot just leaks paint. Out the fucking side of it. But yeah, keep in mind too that, like, even if she isn't, like, old enough to have hit menopause, like, there are still plenty of, uh, like, means by which they could, you know, bone and not conceive. It does not say how old she is. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, Lewis could be sterile. She could be sterile. Lewis could have had a vasectomy years ago. She could be on birth control. Oh. Alright, yeah, I like where Panda's mind is going. Triple oils for uh, hitting it from the back. Yo. Got it. Got to dig for them truffles. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> hey man, what two consenting adults do in a bush down by the park? It's nobody's business but theirs and apparently yours. I do find that funny though that like everyone seems to know, right? Or at least suspect. Mm -hmm. No one ever seems to give a shit except you. Like, except you, the, the player. Because you're the one that stumbles upon them. You're the one that can and, <clears throat> you know, 
for the sake of argument, decides to put Lewis's underwear in the Grange display to make a big scene about it. Like, no one gives a shit that these two are fucking... But you. Lewis seems to care if people find out, though. Right, because it's he's in a you know position of like a authority. But the thing is, everybody either already knows or at least suspects it, and just sort of keeps their mouth shut to like sort of respect their privacy, right? Not the farmer. You, you stumble across, like, yeah, you're the you're the new guy, and all of a sudden you stumble across them in the bushes. And you sneak into somebody's bedroom and steal his underwear and you stick it out on the Grange display. You're the one the... who would stick it out on the Grange no, display, but, not but me. We're saying, but we're saying hypothetically if you did that, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you were to, if you were to go through and do all of that. Why would I do that? It's, it's a hypothetical. Like it, suppose you did, right? That means that like you're the one that's just sort of like accidentally bumping into them during their little liaison. You're the one that, you know, befriended Marnie just so you could sneak into her house and steal his underwear and then plaster it as an item on your Grange display for the whole town to see. Like, you could be discreet about it and you're not. You're just like, hey, uh, look what I got. You're the one who's not discreet, but I'm discreet. I'm very discreet. But I'm saying in in the hypothetical situation in which you, but I wouldn't took his underwear and used and put it in the, in the Grange display. But I wouldn't do that. I understand that. That's why it's a hypothetical. Let's say for the sake of argument that you did, okay? Like I know you wouldn't in your own playthrough, but like for the sake of argument, let's say that you had done that. But. I'm so bad at hypotheticals. I know, but like, imagine a scenario in which you did. But I can't because I wouldn't. You definitely can. <laughs> Panda says I was offered. I offered to give my truffle oil to someone. I was arrested for sexual harassment. I mean, they they gotta they gotta give you the quest for it first. No quest, no love. Yeah, otherwise it doesn't count. But yeah, my point my, my point is that like. It, it seems like you showed up, and then all of a sudden, you, you seem hell-bent on, like, outing the fact that the two of them are, like, in a relationship. You want to know why? You want to know why? Uh, kind of. Because prior to this, I worked in an office for Joja, and all there was to do was gossip. Oh, so now you get to live it. Now you get to live it, and you're, you're like, you haven't adjusted to the, like, quiet town sort of mentality of like everybody keeps their mouth shut yeah you gotta you gotta air everybody's dirty laundry in a, in a literal sense gotta put them grievances on a flagpole or in a grange display metaphorical fl flag <laughs> metaphorical flag I still, I love that that's sort of like the, the hidden second place. I almost said falg pole, and I'm like, I don't know what a falg pole is. The pole on which the mighty falg perches. <laughs> hey baby, come over later and I'll show you my falg pole. <laughs> you, you bring the truffle oil. Yeah, like, you're new in town, Panda says, and, and somehow stumbled upon, like, a weird, crazy kink experience. 
And apparently you're determined to just let everyone know about it. <laughs> Everybody's like, shut up, dude. We know. You think they just started doing that since you got here? That's why everybody, everybody else is hush-hush about it because the novelty has worn off for them. I think they gossip about it on Sundays before going to see Yoba. Oh, I'm sure they do. Somebody somewhere is probably like, Marty came in today and, you know, she she looked a little, uh, looked a little tired. She but... was standing room only, if you know what I mean. What? She was full? She couldn't sit. Oh. I see. Nice. Well, older. you guys were talking about backdoor stuff, so, I, yeah. like... You, yeah, I got you there. You're, you know... I, I'm picking up what you're laying down. I'm trying here. You are. I didn't know, uh... Like, standing room only. I thought you meant, like, she was she was filled to capacity. As far as, like, seats go in, like, a, an auditorium. That, no. That's how it becomes standing room only. But I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, saw her and Lewis last night, and all of a sudden, yeah, she's bow-legged and can't walk straight today, so evidently they didn't get much sleep last night, if you know what I mean. You know, they're going to find you in the morning, frozen <laughs> What was this fool thinking? Honestly, how that pond isn't, like, frozen solid, I won't know. Unless that darker patch means it's being, like, supplied with water and fish and stuff from, like, a... It is. The waterway is connected to the mines, which I take to mean there's some, like, geothermal activity going okay. on. That would keep it warm, I suppose. But yours has it too. Why do yeah. you not, like... Why do I not get fish? Yeah. Because it's that just That pond a... should be a fucking icicle. I got no explanations here. I got none. Yeah. Panda said the same thing. He's like, if it's so cold that it's constantly snowing and everything, like, how is the water not frozen? And, you know, if it's geothermal... And all that, like, I, I can understand that. But that little dinky pond down there, like, not garbage pond, but the little one up by your house, that one should be frozen. <laughs> and yet, somehow... Every time you want to go and fill your watering can up... Actually, that's another question I have. That, that brings up a good question. Can you only fill up that watering can at that spot, or can you go to any water source? Any that? water source. Even the ocean. So you can go and fill your your watering can up with salt water and then use it to water your plants. Aye, aye, Captain. Um... Even though, even though in-game, Elliot was like, yeah, I accidentally killed this plant, but I had, guess I shouldn't water it with salt water. So... Concerned Ape, he knows. Concerned Ape does know. He knows. And yet he didn't implement that in game. Mr. Ape is fully aware. Mr. Ape, that's an oversight on your part. Gonna have to knock this game's rating down a little bit. Nah. Yeah. It breaks the uh, immersive, like, experience. I can't suspend my disbelief for salt water, damn it. I 
I can't suspend my disbelief for a lot of things, but... Yeah, apparently, like, hypothetical situations. You know I'm bad at them. I know, but I thought, I don't know, I thought you were better about them. Like, in, in recent times. Apologies, by the way, everybody, for having to look at my grody forehead. But while I am painting, it will have to suffice because I can't keep moving the uh, webcam up and down. Um. I think I already mentioned that we were, we looked for a boom arm today and we didn't yeah. find anything. What's um? It's only going to be 38 for the high tomorrow. Oh boy. Rosario better fucking bundle up before he uh, comes over. Speaking of which, yeah, um, we are still planning on streaming tomorrow. Overwatch. Yeah, we're not going to be doing uh, Bioshock because we're having Rosario over as a guest star. And uh, he really likes playing Overwatch. He hasn't gotten a chance to try out Batiste yet, so figure we'd uh, let him loose on that. Do maybe an hour or two of uh, an Overwatch stream. Um, so even though it's not Bioshock, we hope that you know everybody will tune in for that, and hopefully shenanigans will ensue. Okay, guys. Um, real talk. I am exhausted. That's so real. It's so real. It's the realest talk there that's, is. That's the deep cuts, man. Ow. Wait. Oh, are you, like, done? For now, yeah. Yeah, of course for now. What, you mean you didn't tell me you didn't beat the game? Nope. Guess I didn't. Hannah says, I might be getting ketchup chips from Canada. Woot! I, I've i not had Canadian ketchup chips. I've had, like, the uh, the ones that Lay's put out. Yeah, like, we've got ketchup chips around here. I don't know that they're as good as ones that you'll actually find from Canada, though. So, you know, if you can find good ones from Canada, then, like, go for it. I didn't care for them too much, but... You know, My sister loves them. Yeah, and, you know, I'm not going to judge. Like, it's, you know, it's your thing. Do what you want to do. I think that's the line from a song. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Yeah. Actually, that wasn't bad. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Um, anyway, before we turn the stream off, should we do, like, post-stream announcements like we normally do? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Well, alright, I mean, the big one was the Overwatch stream, so there is that. Um, we appreciated having you all here, we hope that you enjoyed watching us as much as we enjoyed having you. Um, feel free to drop some bits, like... Uh, subscribe subscribe to the YouTube subscribe to Twitch um, follow us on Twitter at Amado is Amy I always like doing that um, yeah all that good stuff just you know to keep in touch uh, and uh, get updates on future streams yep uh, I think that's all I got uh, that's all I got so for now this has been Amlido. And this is Tarathiel. And that was Stardew Valley. I almost stuck that up my nose by accident. I pointed and it like 
Almost went right up in there. Way to ruin the sign-off. I know. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.